morning all of you and let's try this question from set theory and binomial theorem combined so the question goes like this s is the set of all natural number n such that sigma n a square factorial divided by 1 factorial a square 2 factorial cube till n factorial n plus 1 is also a natural number and we have set t is basically contains all natural number from 1 to 24 so we have to find number of elements in s intersection t now possibly this question can be asked both in uh, you know in set notation or set theory as well as binomial theorem now by looking at the mathematical structure clearly we get reminded of some kind of a structure of multinomial theorem as you can see this is structure but not exactly same so here we go first we'll observe that for any integer which is n and k and such that n is greater than equal to k and greater than equal to 0 we define ck as n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial so this is our usual notation and definitely it is integer by simple selection logic or you can also show this ck is integer by hockeyistic identity which is ck equals n plus 1 ck plus 1 it's very famous for j kind of problem where a lot of problem can be done with this right in fact you can give a combinatorix logic for this suppose ck plus ck plus 1 equals n plus 1 ck plus 1. the nice combinatorix logic can be this that suppose we have n plus 1 person so what i am doing is first i am making one person a side so it can be any person among n plus 1 so we have person 1 2 person 3 person n plus 1 let's say a random person is kept a side okay some pk right so rhs is clearly out of n plus 1 we are selecting k plus 1 person so we have to tell n plus 1 you select k plus 1 person so that will be n plus 1 choose k plus 1. other way of looking at lhs will be as i was mentioning let's make pk a site so now i'm left with how many now we are left with exactly k person because i need to select k plus one so one person i have kept a site and now let's say i have k person okay so in how many ways you can select k person so it will be nck nck because plus one this one person which was selected is always pk so it means in every selection of k person this pk will be there in some other selection of nck again pk will be there right now of course there will be cases when pk is absent so in how many ways pk will be absent let's say pk is not there in the other number of cases out of again n i'll select k plus one where pk is absent so this is number of cases where pk is present and this is number of cases where pk is absent and that will happen in any sample space because in k plus one percent either pk will be present or pk will be absent okay so in that sense you see this equals this directly by combinator x log so it's also a very basic way to prove like nck will be integer the point was not to prove this the point was to give exposure like okay you can think from commentator x logic okay so now my solutions will be based on a basic idea is nck choose k it can be written as nk factorial divided by nk minus k factorial times k factorial and you can clearly see this can be written as nk minus 1 factorial times nk divided by k factorial times nk minus 1 minus k minus 1 so with little bit of manipulation uh, i can clearly see it can be written as nk minus 1 factorial divided by k minus 1 factorial times nk minus 1 minus k minus 1 factorial and that should not be surprising because it just boils down to n times nk minus 1 k minus 1 right and that's an interesting result because we know like uh, now nck will be definitely divisible by an integer or natural number n so that shows like if i have 2 cn okay so it will be divisible by 2 if we have 3 n cn it will be divisible by 3 if we have 4 n cn it will be divisible by 4 and so forth so on so if you have n into n cn it will be divisible by n so their product will be divisible by 2 into 3 into 4 till n which is n factorial 
Now, what is fundamentally this product? It's 2n factorial by n factorial into n factorial. And so on. Let's say 3n factorial divided by n factorial into 2n factorial and so on and so forth. So, it boils down to n square factorial as you can see. Because 1 till 2 and again 1 to 3 and so many 2n factorial we get kicked off. So, finally we are getting n square factorial and minus 1 times n factorial times n factorial. Which amounts to n square factorial over n factorial to the power n. And that's a good news because from here I can see that uh, this is divisible by n factorial. It means this entire quantity is divisible by n factorial. Hence, n square divided by n factorial to the power n will be divisible by n factorial. So, this must be some natural number which forces n square factorial over n factorial to the power n plus 1 to be natural. It means this quantity also divides n square factorial. Now, armed with this result, uh, now it is sufficient to show that 1 square plus 2 square till n square factorial divided by 1 square factorial, 2 square factorial and n square factorial will be an integer. Right? Because if this we can see, if I can show this result clearly from the above result, uh, we are done with this result right now this is not very difficult because you can see suppose if i have uh, this is let's say we have k balls it's basically consequence of multinomial theorem or i can tell we have one red color and then four two a square which is blue color blue 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 we have again three a square maybe white color one two three nice and nine so it's number of objects which are alike of some kind so total number of objects will be what is just sigma n square factorial right divided by in how many ways they can be arranged since one of them is alike so one factorial this blue can arrange in themselves one two factorial and similarly white is three square factorial and so on and so forth so this is clearly an integer right so since this quantity is integer just by simple combinatorics logic which is also done otherwise let's say we have k1 till ks so for any positive integers k1 to ks this quantity will always be integer right ks factory will always be integer positive eight. the reason you can think of selection also this can be thought like first out of k1 plus k2 i choose k1 and then again k1 plus k2 plus k3 i choose k1 plus k2 and so on so forth so like we start rather k1 to ks i have chosen k1 till ks minus 1 again from ks minus 1 we have chosen ks minus 2 and like this you can go with chain dx now this selection is clearly integer individually hence their product must be integer and this product is nothing but this so what's the takeaway from the problem you have seen like how using combinatorics logic i'm able to relate the ideas so now we know like this will always be integer for all n and what is set t it contains all number 1 2 till 2024 so the common number of Elements within both will be nothing but 2024. Hence, the answer for this problem goes to 2024. I hope more than this problem, you have understood the underlying principle and more about combinatorics logic behind binomial theorem. And that's very important, especially in G advanced problem. Because this problem, as such, uh, it's nearly impossible to be asked in G advanced because they do not usually target much number theory looking problems. But I still, a takeaway from this problem is relevant okay and at this stage of your preparation make sure like you're not doing any irrelevant topics so the relevance of the examinations you should keep in mind and accordingly do